What internet marketing expert should you spend your valuable time listening to? Listen to someone who has over 20 years of web marketing experience and hundreds of website marketing success stories. That man is Aaron Sparks from Site Strategics. And this is Edge of the Web Radio. Uh, I got an article from webdesignerdepot.com by Mark Schnecker. Schenker. 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 Oh, Schenker. Oh, sorry, Mark. <laughs> Mark, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Schenker. Poor Mark. He didn't have to put up with that in high school. Now, now you. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Hey, user errors have a direct impact on the site's user experience, right? And that's what we were just talking about here. Put it another way, if there's one thing that you can do immediately to ensure your client stays happy and keeps throwing design work your way, if you are actually a designer, right? It's to preemptive, preemptively prevent... It's going to be... Preemptively prevent. prevent. There we go. User errors right from the get-go. I mean, here's the deal. If you are a website owner, right, you're a company, do you know your the errors they and, don't know. and the error handling they don't know. that's going on? And, and, and you go, okay, well, why in the world will I have errors? Tell me. Why, why would I have errors on a website? Isn't that isn't that a problem? I, I can tell you one that we see all the time. Yep. Someone selects a new agency. Mm -hmm. They build out a new web presence. Yep. And they don't redirect any, anything. Anything. And so all of these links are all over these websites, all over the internet. Yep. People click on that link. They come to your site and four o four. The 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 deadly soft four o four. It may yep. be a pretty four o four page, mm -hmm. but if you can't find what you're looking for, you're gone. Just like that. Um, errors inside of a, a form, right? If you can submit, well, if you can submit submit a form that doesn't have any type of error handling or validation that uh, you know you're submitting empty fields, right? Mm -hmm. That's an error, and all of a sudden you have an empty form submission, or they forgot to do something in that form, and you're not able to con contact them. That's a problem. Mm -hmm. I especially like the forms that you fill out 32 fields. Click submit and it oh, takes okay. you to a page and it says there was an error. There was an error. And, and, then, you and then you go back. And then you go back. It's all and, gone. It's all yeah. gone. Exactly. But they don't tell you your error. No. You know. No. Oh. Or your phone number is not in the right format. Ah. Oh. I want to kill those guys. You tell me. <laughs> yeah. Well, designing with the proactive philosophy, I mean, you won't won't just dress drastically improve the user experience. But it also makes you really look good to to if you're designing for your clients, but more importantly to your customers. You know, preventing errors it, it, it is conversion optimization, folks. Yes, that's that's absolutely. the that's the that's the that's the concept. It's it, it's one principle that should always be first in every designer's value system: designing with the end user at all costs. And and that's that's the thing is that we're you know, we collectively as developers and designers, right? They design, we design something that looks really beautiful, but this is not a, a static piece of, uh, it, this is not a picture. This is a usable, interactive, yeah. functional uh, experience. And if you don't design with that in mind, right? We're even talking about, uh, I mean, down the, from, from even how you, how you name buttons, right? Mm -hmm. Those have, have an effect on the conversion rate. But how you handle errors, one of the, I mean, for, for, for people now, I mean, literally, there's so much use of the internet and 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 uh, the online experience, right? Stats say actually that 40% of the globe now has in internet access and are 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 knowledgeable about you know browser designs and 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 conventions, right? Mm -hmm. uh, horizontal navigation. That's 40% of the globe, right? They also have something to expect. If they see something fail on your site. There's a level of, of expectation, and their their value of their time is high, and getting higher and higher and higher. Mm -hmm. If you haven't fixed something that is simple to fix, right? I'm sorry, you haven't done your work to actually earn my business. Same thing is if you take me back to how many how many fields I've just filled out, you cleaned out the form because you handled an error incorrectly. I won't give you my business just because if you can't even handle your own intake that way. Mm -hmm. well, how are you going to handle my business? You isn't, know? It, isn't it stressful as an agency when you put up your own site, too? Yeah. Because <laughs> we, we don't have a lot of time to work on our own stuff sure. a lot of the time. So I hate finding <laughs> out that there's a problem on my site. Oh, no. Because <laughs> yeah. you know someone hit the site and said, these guys can't even handle their own site. They're yeah, exactly. And, and on top of it, them. 
And if you find an error, if you're able to actually witness an error, right, you also know that it's tenfold. Yeah. Is that other people have gone through that and never oh, complained, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. So rely on affordances. Affordances are those indications that tell your users how they can interact with your with your site. They're absolutely essential for a great user experience and therefore reducing user errors. Affordances come in all shapes and sizes. They're physical, language, pattern, and symbolic or iconic. Check this out. Without clear affordances or any at all, even the most seasoned user will have a putrid, I love it, user Ooh. experience. <laughs> P-U. Take for <laughs> exactly. Well, take for instance language affordances, which are the most explicit ways of communicating to your users how they can interact with your website, right? One of the most common places are, 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 or where you're going to find those things are in forms, form fields, and how you help guide users to what they should input with various fields. Just think for any forms that you can actually come across, if you don't have descriptions of what those fields are, oh, yeah. well, what in the world are, are, am I supposed to do here, right? Uh, Dropbox's homepage, if you check it out, you can see the, the sign-up form prominently displayed right in the middle of the screen. The form only has four fields, but to, to help the user experience, Dropbox has included a language affordance in every field so that all users now know that they are they're expected to type in their first and last names, email addresses, and passwords to sign up, right? Mm -hmm. With immediate feedback when they do. Yep, exactly, exactly. Uh, another point here is using a deletion fail-safe. One of the most common errors is, is based on accidental deletion of created works, right? Uh, whether it's a written report or, you know, some images that you had on your shared drive or what have you, it stands to reason that creating eff you know, effective safeguards against accidental deletions. And I mean, in this space of cloud work, right, and cloud experience and, and uh, online shared environments, mm -hmm. deletion has to be protect protected because users are in, in <laughs> they're going to be in error. They're, they're <laughs> You're going to hit that button. The cat's going to jump on the keyboard. Whatever, right? Yep. That's for you, Jen. Um, you know, most, most everyone has at one point or another experienced a situation just like that. And the cost of a user error can oftentimes be more than just frustration of having pressed the wrong button. Accidental deletions can permanently erase things. So a confirmation dialog box, right, asking if they really mean to delete something is a vital fi fail safe. Uh, it has to be part of every well-functioning design. Uh, it, for example, I mean, even for, for Google Drive, if you just hit delete, uh, it pops up. Do you really want this to, to be deleted forever? Easy thing to say, right? But do you think about it whenever you're de developing a website? You know, um, you need to understand, and, and I'll bring this to a wrap-up here. You need to understand the users and show them the path of least resistance. Visually, you need to be able to bring cues to the table graphically and, and, and with language. And you also need to provide nets for these users who fall outside the main use case. And I mean, this goes back into testing. Test your site to break your site. Test your site to figure out what could these users ever possibly do to the site. Are they getting what they need to go to the next step on their journey? Mm -hmm. And if they don't, if they steer into the <laughs> off the cliffs, how are you going to take care of them? Yeah. Oh, oh, you didn't want to go here. You know, bring them back around, and and you need to be mindful of that user experience. Make helpful error responses throughout the application that you're bu you're building, and make errors. Here's another thing, guys. Make errors seem less like failures on the user end, but more like cues for adjustment. Don't make them feel stupid. All right. Mm -hmm. Because that's also, I mean, I'm going to be punched out. If you're going to tell me that I did something wrong, oh. you know, with a big old red X. Okay. Your password <laughs> <Yeah>. doesn't have <laughs> a... <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that's, that's why it's essential for designers to always put themselves in the user's shoes and try to anticipate how he or she will behave and how he or she are navigating their design. I mean, they're, they're, only then can user errors truly be minimized. All right, so that's error handling in, in, in a nutshell. Think more. There's a number of links that we're going to show on the, on the edge of the website, so check that out. But uh, pay attention to that because sure. I mean, you, could suck, you, could, you could really pull back maybe 10 or 20% on your conversion mm -hmm. rate if you just handle your errors correctly. All right.